Bring as many fools as you like. You won't stop what must be done. Ten shits I do not give. I will waste no more time. Slightly insulted your belief. Now you're offended. Apparently that's a crime. But hey, remember freedom of speech, so if you don't like what I say, sucks to be you. This must end now! I didn't use your selected sources. If only I was willing to listen to your sources and simply accept every inch of your propaganda, well, everything would just turn out just dandy. You've been at my heels far too long. You consider me to be hateful for mocking your conspiracy theory, or your pseudoscience, or spiritual bunk. Well, <laughs> sucks to be you. There's no cost too great. You consider me to be an egomaniac because I don't believe that you're a god, Jesus, or both, or some kind of new age alien being. Yeah, because I'm the one with the ego problem there. Hmm. Then so be it! You believe in a scam or a cult, but that makes no real difference to me. So yeah, if you happen to believe in ridiculous bullshit, that's not my problem. That's your problem. When I criticise your ridiculous nonsense, well, there's probably a reason for that, isn't there? You're so naive. Using your material is a crime. Now you're gonna send the FBI after me, apparently. Uh, questioning your beliefs is slander. You've contacted your lawyer. I should be scared. You don't even begin to comprehend. You create nutty theories. You suggest that we're somehow shills for the FBI or a communist conspiracy or the Illuminati because that makes sense. And you do it instead of discussing the facts. Surely if your theory or your conspiracy theory, whatever the case may be, your belief is rational, then you wouldn't be running away from the facts, would you? Now I'm pure, unburdened. You say I'm using bad science because it doesn't fit with your quackery. It doesn't fit with the supportive data that you've selected out for your own belief system, and therefore the stuff that I'm saying must be bad. Whether it's from a scientific source or not, you're just going to try and pick a hole because, hey, you know, that's how you prove your belief, by undermining the facts. I have the power and you have nothing! You talk big until questioned, and then play the victim. Oh, you've had critics, they're just haters, and yes, you're being overly defensive. Gee, I wonder why. I wonder what you're trying to cover up. In defeating me, you let the real enemy linger on. You have mental issues, possibly mental illness, some of that is public record, but you reject help because you don't want to admit it. You would rather believe that you're in contact with angels or aliens or fairies, or that you're the reincarnation of Jesus or a Buddha, because that's a supportive, wishful idea. And it's not as nice as saying, hmm, maybe you need some antipsychotic medication. So yeah, maybe, just maybe, getting some help is probably a, a good idea. Just ponder it, why don't you? Is mine. It's time. I claim it once more.